Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. And for this video, it may be a little bit longer than usual. Um, I just want to show you how to fix some of the table. Like sometimes you download some cheat engine table from Fearless Evolution something, and they are like you cannot activate the script because it for the the older version. Now there's a lot of things we can do about that, but most of the time there should be a simple fix for most of the table. So today I will show you one of those, one of very simple one. Okay, this is for the game called Against the Storm. It's kind of a RTS with building survival games. So I download this from Baby Groot from uh, Fearless Revolution. Um, I will link the table in the video. And as you can see, this is a new version of the game. This one, this table will make for version. 0.40.2 R and the curly the current version is 0.461 E. Alright, so let's get started. Now I activate this one, it's just kinda of like link the uh, table into the game, hooking it so you can go back to the full view mode over here, okay? And the script over here, as you can see when I click here, there's nothing happen. Because the game has been updated and the script right here is outdated. We just need to update it again. All right. So let's start with double clicking here. First of all, we need to see what happened in here. Okay. So you can see here there's some AOB scan over here, and basically, before any code, anything kicking in, the cheat engine needs to find some of the address, and these are the call of the script over here. So this usually the problem okay and you can see instead of like we doing the scan ourselves this script do the scan itself and then all we need to do is find find out what happened in here for example this part right here maybe that's the one that made the script not working so we we want to test it the way we do so let's say we go we take this is a dead trans right you put in start starting address then this is the stopping address okay copy and paste it in here then you type the code there go to array of byte and do a scan over here so as you can see we file an address over here which means this script right here is working all right so the first one's good we skipping that one we go to the second one we keep going okay so just doing that again this will seem like the same spot just a different array of byte first scan and we saw another address so we want that should be the old the only one the unique address okay I think it should be unique all right so the second code is working we check the third one Look like the same area too, so I don't need to copy and paste the address again. I just need to copy and paste the array of byte and new scan, first scan. So this one gave us nothing, which means this is the problem one. Okay, I'm gonna mark this one right here, and we go back to that. Let's see because we have another one. So let's double check this one too. This one seems like oh, this one seems like different address so we're checking in here and then we're checking in here all right we do another first scan oh, sorry you need to get the array of by first I want one just copy the whole thing okay copy the whole thing ah oh, come on all right copy the whole thing paste in here do a scan so we found an address here which means this one's working so we found the travel one, which is on right here. Now let's remove that one. And we see, first of all, we need to look into this area, this region right here, okay? Um, in the this engine, this engine uh, click on anything and then press Control B. It can I or Control D, whatever. It's gonna pull up this table right here, memory viewer. Then, you type in this one right here, right? Copy that starting address. Or stopping address, doesn't matter. You go to address, you copy and paste it in there and you go. Okay. 
so this is the region where this AOB scan gonna working it here and you can see this star from 1 to 65 so this is quite a small one and that's why this one quite easy to do all right so we have the first one D9 AD something it looks like this one right here and we see like the FLD right it's floating something for uh, the purpose of the you really need to worry about that and we can see it right here FLD D1 BTR EAX plus E0 something right here quite similar it's just different code in here and that's why you see there's some star star melee whatever uh, it can be anything right so d9 ad whatever zero 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 whatever okay uh the second one d9 40 70 40 4 uh, d e and c1 so we're looking at look like this one right here yeah it's that one right there so the third one by the flow some it should be somewhere in this region so we see on the right here D9 AD 78 we had D9 AD look like that right here and we have C4 this one is 78 right and 02 we have 0200 0, 0, okay and it might be this one down here too okay either one or B because you can see the pattern right there very similar right only different in C4 C8 or 78 right there um now to know what what it is we go down here it usually it's like when they build the code the code is very very should be very similar to what we see in the uh, memory viewer right here so this one uh, the author name it p base 3 so we're looking for that part p base 2 right here p base 3 right there so if this is should be the code of that thing right here Okay, and now we compare. So usually, this part right here. I mean, it's hard to see, but usually this part, like, um, in this area right here, is the what they're adding in there. And you can see like that thing right there. My GG something or my QQ something. You go with this one right there. Okay, so this is the original code usually. And we have FLD here, so we have two FLD. We're looking at over here, right? FLD, FLD, and it EAX plus 278. Now we have here EAX plus, so basically these two are exactly the same, right? And we don't know which one is which because that's where the code stuff. Usually, when they save some part of it down here, you can see exactly. The whole area but this one will this all we have so what I'm gonna do is copy either of them test see if it's work okay so first of all I'm gonna try it with uh, let's see this one right here d9adc4 I'm gonna change 78 to c4 of course we can do that for star to be whatever but that's gonna return into two address and because of that it will return to northern we need one address only one work okay zero not working two not work a thousand not working only one all right so i put in d9 ad c4 0200 okay c4 right there and yet you can see right here that the code going to be eax plus 2c4 right remember before i changed this one it was 78 and you look at right here eax plus 78 278 right so number two we don't get the number two staying the same so when we change 78 into c4 right here we change this one to c4 okay and now this code right here look exactly the same like this code right here okay right so now we test the code okay press ok there we go and go to the table Press game data now it's working because it found that address in there now it is the address the right one? I don't know. So this one, this table working by you're looking for a script and then you make a pointer from those script. And you open this one, right? As you can see right here, there's all not working yet. But if you read over here, they say to activate, we need to build something first. So let's get into the games. 
and let it load take some time all right so i will build something just build something here let's build a house i like houses okay mm, let's build a house right there and let it work okay you see it gets starting and the table is updated so you see all the number here they're working they're working here uh, the third part right there should be this part right here and it seems it's working too and this is the last part so everything working now this part right here you need to click on the building to see right so they update the building here as you can see right when I don't click on it okay so the table is working now easy right and let's say by any chance for example when you're fixing the script over here if, if you see two that two of the thing that look exactly the same like that let me remove this one so the code come back to where it was okay so if you try that one it's not working right you go down here and then you put this code in here so this one will be c8 instead of whatever seven then we come 78 but whatever you want to change that one the 78 into c8 right here and then you change this one code right here right whatever it is you change it to the, the code right there and press ok and test it if it work or not so that's how you update the table when the game upgrade okay if you like the content please leave a subscribe if any question leave in the comment leave in the comment thank you for watching and have a good day